Did you know that there are actually some ways to get Android Auto or Apple CarPlay right inside of your Tesla actually working? Did you also know that there's a secondary Tesla theater that has dozens and dozens of really awesome streaming options built right in? Or a way to remotely view your Sentry Mode cameras live from your phone? Yes, there are dozens of really cool little hidden features, secrets, Easter eggs built into all Tesla models that you might not know about. I know a lot of you guys are new owners or potential owners looking to maximize your Tesla experience. And if you think you know the ins and outs of the Tesla, think again, because I got a lot of cool hidden features here you probably don't know about. And even for existing owners who have used their car for a few years, and again, they think they know all about it, I've got some cool hidden features here that are new that you probably didn't know about. So let me break down all of these really cool Easter eggs, hidden features, secrets. Here are 13 or so of the best hidden features to help you get the most out of your Tesla. And a big thanks to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. More on them in a bit. This first one here is one that I mentioned time and time again, but seems to be like a fan favorite. I always get comments on this and people always seem to love it. This one here is a better theater, formerly known as a better Tesla theater. And as the name suggests, it's just a better theater than the built-in Tesla theater built in. You get access to tons of different streaming services here, including like YouTube TV, Plex, and many others, and also full screen website experiences for websites like Google Maps, Reddit, and a bunch of others as well. This is a really simple website that you can access through your car. You basically are going through the YouTube app, then bounce to a full screen website. And as the name suggests, it's just a really nice Tesla theater experience. It's a really nice UI made for the car, really easy to navigate buttons that are easy to press. And uh, you sort of can access this movie theater like experience inside of your Tesla with that really nice screen and that awesome sound system. So check out a better theater in your Tesla's web browser today and get a way better Tesla theater experience inside of your Tesla right now. This next feature is one I use personally multiple times a week, and that is the ability to share an address from your iPhone or Android phone to your car's navigation system basically instantaneously. This is great if you're looking addresses up on a website on your phone, for example, or sometimes it's just easier to sort of find things in Google Maps on your phone. But instead of having to type it into your car's navigation system, you can just share it basically instantaneously from your phone to your Tesla. The way to do that is by basically sharing an address to another application. This is like in the share sheet on iOS, for example, and Tesla should be one of the options as an app that you can share that address to. If you tap on the Tesla app, that will basically send that address wirelessly to your car and automatically put it into the navigation system. So if you're sitting in your car, your car will automatically pull it up and you'll be ready to go. Or if you're basically getting into your car, you can share it, get down, uh, sit in your car, and you're basically ready to go. And it will already be preloaded into the map, ready to go and ready for the car to navigate you to and take you to as your destination. This is one that's simple, but it works on iOS and Android and is one that once you know how to do it, you're going to want to use it all the time, especially since you can't really find superchargers within the Tesla app anymore. This is sort of a great little workaround. One of the most common questions I get in my Tesla videos is, can you remove favorite stations from within sort of the media player built into the Tesla? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. It's not super obvious, but essentially if you just tap and hold on one of those stations, you'll then see sort of an X pop up in the upper left, and then you can just simply do what you'd want to do and just exit out of those favorite stations you want to delete and not have in your favorite stations anymore. Simple little trick here that once you know how to do it, it's probably one you're going to be using uh, a lot. Now, this next hidden feature is brand new and one that is still rolling out to all Tesla vehicles, and that is the ability to view your sentry mode cameras live from your phone. Now, this is currently on iOS only at the time of filming, but it is going to come to Android eventually. And also, again, it is rolling out in software updates, so it's slowly rolling out. So if you don't have it yet, don't worry. But essentially, what this will allow you to do is once you get this update, you can view your sentry mode cameras from your phone live wirelessly. You just have to enable it inside of the security menu inside of your Tesla, and then you can go into the Tesla app, go to security, and then view the cameras live. It's a little buggy. It doesn't work all the time all that well. It's a little slow to respond, but it is really cool that if you're in the gym or in a restaurant and you want to check on your car, you have the ability to use the app, pull up the camera feeds, and basically see it live, which is really cool to see. Now, caveat here, here again, not only is this slowly rolling out again, don't be worried if you don't have it yet, it's going to come, but also you can't view sentry mode clips. You can't do some kind of uh, playback like you would with like a Nest Cam or any kind of smart camera. This is just a live view as of right now. So you can view these cameras live, all the cameras from sentry mode, but you cannot do any kind of history. So basically right now, again, you can view these cameras within the security section within the Tesla app. And again, just make sure you enable it on your car and you'll be good to go. 
Now, before we continue with more of these awesome Tesla tips, tricks, and hidden features, let me take a quick break and tell you guys a bit about this video's sponsor, Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet is a super sleek, simple, and really great looking wallet that holds up to 12 cards with some room in there for cash as well. It's available in over 30 colors and styles so you can get the perfect style you've been looking for, including some of my favorites like carbon fiber, which I think looks fantastic, and burnt titanium as well. And my personal wallet of choice is in fact the carbon fiber Ridge Wallet, and it has been fantastic. It looks great. Again, it's super sleek, it's super premium, and it gives me access to all of my credit cards as well. It's also made with RFID blocking technology that protects all my cards cards from those pesky digital pickpocketers. And personally, I am just a huge fan of Ridge Wallet. I love the design, I love the functionality, the versatility, and I also just love that these wallets are built to last. Ridge Wallets are built with durable materials, they're backed by a lifetime warranty, and backed by money back guarantee as well. So you can try a Ridge Wallet for yourself with your cash and your cards for 45 days. And if you're not totally satisfied, you can send the wallet back and get your money back as well. But with over 40,000 five-star reviews, so many people, myself included, love their Ridge Wallets for many, many reasons. I love it. I know you guys are going to love it as well. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself today, learn more and check out all the cool styles, colors, textures Ridge has to offer, hit the link down below or head to ridge.com slash Robert and use the coupon code Robert to save a checkout for a limited time. Typically, this is a 10% off coupon, but for a limited time through December 7th, you can use that code Robert and get 15% off your order. Again, a limited time on this deal. So act now, head to ridge.com slash Robert and use the coupon code Robert for 15% off your order from now until December 7th. And then after it's 10%, which is still a really great savings as well. So again, learn more, take advantage of those extra savings today by going to ridge.com slash Robert. Use that coupon code Robert for a limited time for 15% off your order. And speaking of Sentry Mode, another question I see pop up a lot is with the drive that Sentry Mode uses. Now, newer Teslas come with drives, but they're sort of hit and miss sometimes. Sometimes you want to give the car a higher capacity drive. Usually using an SSD is better as well. And if you bought a drive off of Amazon, which you can do, links down below, uh, one of the biggest questions is how do you set it up? Because you used to have to go through Windows or Mac and format it a certain way and create these special folders that were case sensitive. That is no longer the case. Now, if you get a new drive, all you have to do is plug it in into the car, basically in any of the USB ports. Then you go into the security, safety, and security menu inside of your car, and then you can tap the button to format the drive right from the car. So you tap that button, the car will format it correctly, and you will be good to go for sentry mode and for dash cam. No having to create separate folders, no having to plug it into a computer. You can just do that formatting right on the car itself, and it makes it super, super simple. Now, this next hidden feature is another new one as well, and this one has to do with charging. Now, for the longest time, if you wanted to control any of the more advanced charging functions, like a scheduled departure, if you wanted to do any kind of uh, off-peak charging, you had to do that actually in the car. Sitting in the car, you actually had to go through the menu and do it that way. There was no wireless app control. But now, thanks to some recent software updates and new app updates, you can actually do it within the Tesla app itself totally wirelessly. So I'm going to jump into my app right now. I'm going to go under the schedule little option here. And then I actually have a lot of different options here to choose from. The first is departure time. So if I just wanted to strictly set it up this way, if I want to say, hey, tell the car I need to leave for work at 8 a.m., this will make sure that the car is charged and ready to go, whatever it takes to make sure that I'm at my desired charge level by the time I need to leave. So at 9 a.m., I want to make sure I have an 80% battery. Having that on will do its thing. It'll precondition the battery if I turn that on. And also I can set the off-peak charge as well to make sure the car doesn't start charging until the off-peak rate is in effect. So in my case here in Southern California, Edison, as my uh, utility company, I think that after 9 p.m., the rates are much cheaper for uh, heavy utility use and EV charging. So I can set that up by turning that on and then setting when the off-peak time is. Now, the other tab here is the charge tab. So if I just want to go here and say, hey, uh, I just want to make sure that uh, the car starts charging after a certain time, I can turn that on as well. So I don't really need to leave at a certain time, but I don't want the car to start charging until after 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m whatever the case may be. These are a little confusing because it's a little uh, different here, but they also sort of work the same. But just know that one will have the battery set to its level, whatever you determine it to be, when you need to leave, and the other will just start charging the car uh, at a set time. And these are both nice, so if you just want to basically pull into the garage at any time, plug the car in, you know that it won't start charging until it follows the rules you set within the app. So again, a couple of little things to consider here, but uh, nice that you now have wireless full control over some more advanced charging stuff done right inside of the Tesla app.
Next up, let's talk wheels. Now, obviously, you know, you can swap out your wheels on your Tesla with basically any wheels you'd like, including some Tesla OEM options as well. But did you know that when you make that change, that can obviously have some big effects on efficiency and range and all that fun stuff. You want to make sure the car is aware of the change you made with the wheels. Even if you just swap the aero covers for the aero wheel cap kit, which is easy to do and I think looks great, you need to make sure the car is aware of that. So you want to head under the service menu where you can actually tell the car manually which tire are on your car. Doing this will sort of save that and so the car knows not only updating the visualization but will also let the car account for things and changes with efficiency, range, uh, all that stuff is sort of taken into effect when it knows the tires you have on your car. So even if you make a little change again like just swapping the aero covers for the wheel cap kit or vice versa or anything you're going to do with the wheels, make sure your car is aware of that because it needs to take all that stuff into account. Now, what happens if something goes wrong inside of your Tesla? Maybe the screen goes black or what happens to me all the time is that the LTE connection just stops working. If something goes wrong in your Tesla, what do you do? Well, as amazing as Teslas are, they are at the end of the day basically just computers on wheels and computers are going to do what computers do. And sometimes you just need to do a reboot to get things running back on track. To do that inside of your Tesla, you basically want to do what's called a scroll wheel reset, which is basically just holding in the two scroll wheels on your steering wheel for about 10, 15 seconds until the screen goes black and then you see the Tesla logo pop back up on the screen. That is going to initiate basically a reboot of the car, what's called a soft reboot, and will reboot the entire car car to get the system back on track and this typically most of the time will fix a lot of the issues whether it's a frozen screen the LTE connection not working whatever the case may be usually this scroll wheel reset will do the trick and fix the problem now this next one here is sort of answering one of the biggest questions I see time and time again with Tesla and that is with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as sleek and simple and cool as the built-in Tesla software is it does have some limitations there are not apps it's missing a lot of music streaming options there's no ways and one of the questions I get all the time is can you get Android Auto or Apple CarPlay on your Tesla screen and the answer is yes you can with a little bit of an asterisk there because yes you can but it doesn't always work as well as you'd like. Let's start with actually Android first because if you do have an Android phone and you want to get Android Auto on your Tesla there is actually a really good way to do this. There is an app you can download and a process of steps that you can take to set this up that you can basically get full-fledged Android Auto working on your Tesla. I think this is in beta right now and again I haven't had any personal time with this but based on some user experiences that I've read and this demo video you can get like full-fledged Android Auto working inside of the browser on your Tesla with the touchscreen and everything working and all. It looks really cool. It looks super sleek. I will leave that system link down below if you want to give that a shot for yourself. It looks very promising. Now, the easier way to do this with Android and uh, also uh, Apple CarPlay as well, and, and of course, the only option if you have iOS, is to use something like a Tesla Mirror app. This is an app that basically will essentially um, mirror your Tesla's screen to whatever is on your phone. So basically, it'll project whatever is on your phone screen, whether that's Waze, whether whether it's Google Maps, basically any app, including YouTube and other apps, on your Tesla's screen through the browser. You can, of course, switch over to Bluetooth as well, so it'll send audio and video over to your Tesla. And essentially, this basically, like the name suggests, mirrors your screen from your phone to your Tesla. I've used one called Tesla Mirror. That's the app that I've uh, used. I'll leave that link down below, but there are a couple other apps that do this as well. And this works as well as you would expect. You can project whatever is on your screen, like ways to the screen on your car, but you can actually touch interact. You have to do all the navigation, all the pressing, all that stuff on your phone. So again, this is just a mirroring option, but it does work. So if you are looking for a way to get some iOS or Android apps to your Tesla screen, using something like Tesla Mirror will allow you to do this. But again, it's not really the full-fledged thing. That is not there just yet, but at least in the meantime, this is sort of a nice alternative and a nice little workaround. All right, and that is going to do it for me. What are your thoughts on these Tesla tips, tricks, and hidden features? Let me know your favorite down below. And also, what is an Easter egg, a trick, something you've discovered with your Tesla that you use all the time that you'd like to sort of share with the Tesla community as a whole? A lot of the viewers of these videos are Tesla enthusiasts and also new Tesla owners as well. So if you have a tip or trick that you'd like to share to the Tesla community, what would that be? What is like your favorite Tesla uh, feature that you use all the time? Let me know in the comments down below. We can sort of all share in this Tesla knowledge together. Also, again, a huge thanks to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to learn more and pick one up for yourself, head to ridge.com slash Robert for 15% off your order. Again, use the code Robert to check out 15% off your Ridge Wallet. Again, a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And a big thanks to you guys for watching as well. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld, and I will see you all in the next one.